In the two circles, one square problem, we're given two circles, each with radius five meters. They're sat together on a horizontal line, just touching each other in the middle there. Now we've got a square also on that line. It's the biggest square we can draw such that it fits in that gap. So its top corners are just touching the edges of the circles. Well, we need to know what is the area of this largest square that we can put in this gap. Let's start by labeling the length of one side of the square as x. We're now gonna put some extra lines in here, try and create some equations that will help us work out x. Firstly, I'm gonna put another radius in from the center to the very corner of that square. As it's a radius, it's also got length of five. I'm gonna add another radius vertically downwards. So again, length five, it's meeting the base at a right angle. We're now gonna introduce a new line coming from the top of the square across to this vertical line that we've just drawn at 90 degrees. And we don't know the length of that yet, but I'm gonna label it as Y. Now you can see we've created a triangle here with the hypotenuse five, the base is Y. We just need to work out the height of the triangle. Well, looking at that vertical line, we can see that the bottom part of it must also be X because it's the same height as the square. So the blue part above this must be the five from the radius minus that's x. So we've now got a triangle with sides five, y, and five minus x. It's a right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So the hypotenuse, five squared, must equal y squared plus five minus x squared. Expanding those brackets and squaring the five, we get 25 equals y squared plus 25 minus 10x plus x squared. So if we subtract 25 from both sides, we get that y squared plus x squared minus 10x is equal to zero. So far so good, we've now got an equation which links x and y together, but that's two unknowns. So in order to solve this, we're going to need to find another equation linking x and y. We're gonna do this by adding a vertical line down from where those two circles touch to the square. And we're gonna find the length of this line here, which I've added in blue, coming from the vertical radius across to that new line that we've just done. Now, due to the symmetry of the diagram, this square must be coming down halfway on that square. So the part of the square with the blue line on it must be half of the length of the square, so x over two. And we know that the left-hand part of that blue line is y, because that's what we labeled it earlier. Now, because that's been created from two vertical lines coming down from that radius, it must be the same length as that radius, because we've just created a rectangle here. So y plus x over two is equal to five. We can now make y the subject by subtracting x over two from both sides, giving us that y is equal to five minus x over two. If we substitute this now into our Pythagoras equation, we're going to get an equation in x with no other unknowns. So let's do that. Five minus x over two, all squared, plus x squared minus 10x equals zero. If we square the bracket, we get 25 minus two lots of five times x over two, so minus five x plus x squared over four. And we've still got the plus x squared minus 10x on the end, which is equal to zero. Bringing the like terms together gives us five x squared over four minus 15x plus 25 equals zero. We can now solve this by using the quadratic formula or if your calculator does quadratics, that's fine. I'm gonna try and factorize it. So I'm gonna make those coefficients a bit simpler to use. The first thing I'm gonna do is multiply through by four to get rid of the fraction. So we end up with five x squared minus 60 x plus 100 equals zero. All three of those coefficients on the left there are multiples of five. So let's divide by five. We get x squared minus 12 x plus 20 equals zero. We're now gonna try and factorize this. We're going to need two numbers that multiply together to give 20, and we'll add together to give negative 12. Well, that's gonna be negative 10 and negative two. So we end up with x minus 10 times x minus two is equal to zero. Hence, solutions for this are x is equal to two or 10. But looking back at our diagram, the square is fitting in there. The radius of the circle is only five. So for our diagram, x can't possibly be 10. It would have to be Two. Just as a side note, 
10 would be the size of the square that fits into that gap with the top corners touching the circles on the outside. So it does fit into the diagram mathematically, but for the one we've actually drawn, x equals two is the only possible answer. Now we're after the area of the square. So if x is equal to two, we're gonna square this to get the area. The area is two squared, which is equal to four square meters. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.